James Bond, Covalent Bond. Today, we'll be using the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory to simulate three-dimensional models, also known as playing with balls and sticks. Basically, we can most nearly predict the angle between two bonds using this model. In this example, we have two oxygens bonding into an oxygen gas. As we know, oxygen has two bonds. Should we not add another toothpick? In this case, no. Because the Vesper model tells us to predict all double and triple bonds the same way as a single bond. That's right, Bobby. Because it's most nearly a line, our angle is going to be approximately 180 degrees. Now, a molecule with three bonds would be called trigonal planar. Try for having three and planar because it can lie on the same plane. Now, if this was a pair of electrons, it would look kind of like this. It would be called a bent molecule. This guy right here would be called a tetrahedral, unless he's only got one pair of electrons. Then he would, he would be called a trigonal pyramid, because notice there are three bonds, but it still stands kind of like a pyramid. If there are two pairs of electrons, this will, again, be a bent molecule. The angle between it, though, will only be, will be the same as a tetrahedral angle, or 109.5 degrees. This guy we call trigonal bipyramidal. You can see the trigonal shape because it's got three sides that are about 120 degrees apart from each other, yet it forms two pyramids, one there and one there. That's why it's called trigonal bi, which means two, pyramidal, which means a pyramid. If it has one electron pair down here where I'm holding it that is not covalently bonded, it is called seesaw. The reason for this being because if you line it up like this, it looks like a seesaw. With two unbonded pairs, it's called a T-shape. You can probably figure that one out. And with three electron pairs, it is actually linear. This shape is called an octahedral, but why would it be called an octahedral if it only has six sides? Well, that's because this side forms a plane, and this side forms a plane, and this side forms a plane, and this side forms a plane. So there are four planes on the bottom and four planes on the top. Therefore, there are eight planes that you can make if you form a plane between three of these atoms, and that's why it's called an octahedral. With one pair of electrons, it will form a pyramid, but this is a square pyramid because there are four sides to the pyramid, so it is called a square pyramid. With two electron pairs, this has got a perfectly planar shape. Therefore, it is called square planar because it forms a square and it's on a plane. Resonance, which is typically when a double bond bounces around, does not affect the structure of the molecule. A molecule will have a dipole moment and therefore be polar if there are unbounded electrons that are not symmetrical. For example, in this shape, there are three unbonded electron pairs, but because they are symmetrical, this molecule would not have a dipole moment. On the other hand, a molecule such as water, which has a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and an oxygen, and an unbound pair of electrons will have a dipole moment. Because if we split it right here, it will not be symmetrical. There will be more of a negative charge on this side and more of a positive charge on this side. In lab, I will assign you molecules that you must construct out of nothing more than balls and sticks. So come prepared. 